Good morning, primary one. Happy Thursday. Let's get to work. Let's complete page 83 in our activity book. The first question says, did the writer enjoy the day? Circle yes or no. So if yes, you're going to circle yes. If no, no. And then how do you know? So if she said, yes, I enjoyed the day. We had so much fun. You write that. If you write no, I hated the animals. They were smelly. You write that. Number two, on a sheet of paper, write down everything that Rosa did. So I'm going to go get my sheet of paper and we're going to start that. Let's talk about what it says to do. It says on a sheet of paper, write down everything that Rosa did. With a partner, talk about whether you would like her to be your friend or explain why. So here's my piece of paper. At the top, I've wrote my title, Rosa, and the date, 13 5 2020. And then I'm going to have six sentences about what Rosa did. I've got some pictures here to help you. Number one, Rosa was, everyone was waiting on the coach because Rosa was, write the answer on the line. Number two, Rosa spilled, what did she spill? What happened on the bus? Number three, Rosa sang with everyone else. They were singing some, la la la, I put some musical notes for you. And then number four, Rosa played. What game did they play? It's got an eye and a magnifying glass. They're looking for things. Number five, Rosa jumped when? What happened to make Rosa jump? And number six, at the shop, Rosa got a kind of, what toy was it? So those are the sentences you're gonna write about all the things that Rosa did. Now let's go back and circle the words or phrases that tell you when something happened. The word the, finally, her, went, during the afternoon, at four o'clock, spider, roared, and at lunchtime. So when can something happen? Can something happen at spider time? At four o'clock? How about at the time? Circle the ones that only tell you about when something happened. Let's turn the page to page 84. We need to match the animals that are written in the middle to the pictures. So let's read them first. Hippo, spider, giraffe, panda, lion, and tiger. The first word hippo, find the picture of hippo and draw a line. Then keep going, you got this. The, la the next sentence says add numbers to the animals above to show the order in which they were seen by the class. So, what animal did they see first on their trip? Did they go to see the spiders first? So now you'll have to go back to your anthology, look at the pictures, look at the story, and figure out which happened first. Write it number one, second, write number two, third, three, fourth, four, fifth, five, and the last animal they saw, six. Hello, primary one. So this is the sound crossword. When you open it, it looks like this. I'm on the iPad, so I need to move these clues down out of the way so I can see the whole puzzle. Now on the left-hand side, I have the word across, and I have number one, an insect which has a long, thin body. Which spelling is an insect? It's a... So I'm gonna touch the sentence, and then I start typing. Dragon fly. Then I touch the second one. A princess wears this. Cinderella's is blue. What is it? It's a dress. Good. So you keep going. You touch the clue. A story in your head. What's a story in your head when you are sleeping? Then you touch the letters to put it to, to write it. The shape rain makes. Touch the clue. It brings. What is the shape? It's going to be a draw. And then I go over to down, an animal that can fly. It's a duh, the duh's already there from dragonfly. Duh, r, a, g, n. There we go. You keep going till you finish them all. If you'd like to read a new storybook, let's go to the reading section and read a pet for Pete. 